So the femoral component is a key component of the knee replacement and it mimics the functionality of the upper knee. As we're living longer, as there's more exercise in society, the demand is going up. This demand puts a, a huge pressure on the industry to be able to produce more components more efficiently is, uh, is super exciting. So my name is Jonathan Shipley. Uh, I've been working in Seco for 10 years. My current role is Global Business Development Manager. In femoral machining and, and probably some of the advancements that 3D printing technology is bringing is also the ability to personalise these implants. So working with a patient and developing personalised solutions for each individual is probably something that's coming now but we'll see even more in the future. Medical industry is moving so fast with its technology developments. Some of the higher challenges that we get from them in terms of manufacturing components from 3D printing, but also looking at keeping components particularly clean so they can be put into the human body are some of the bigger challenges that we find in medical today. Seco have gained our experience in manufacturing uh, femoral components over many years. Traditional methods of grinding still require some milling processes to complete the manufacture, so working in peripheral machining, for example, is one of the application areas that we've developed over many years. But also looking into material technology, so developing our cutting tools that are really pushing the boundaries of possibilities in machining, say, cobalt chrome as a material or titanium, and, and now looking into the 3D printed materials, it's also very, very important that we continue to develop in this space. So in machining, high volumes of these components, uh, trying to find that balance between productivity, cost and reliability is, is a real area where Seco can help. Working in partnership often with CAD-CAM and Machine Tool, uh, we can come together to provide the best solution to the customer. Thank you.